Hi children, good morning. Do you know each one of us has something? In fact, everybody in this world has one common thing. Do you know what it is that? Name. Each of us has a name. Do you know anyone without name? There is a girl in the Bible who lost her parents in war and went into a strange land as a captive. Even though her name was not written in the Bible, but she knows the name of her God and she told that name to her mistress to save her master. We can find her in 2 Kings chapter 5 in army commander Naaman's house, a little Hebrew girl. Let us learn three natures of this nameless girl. Number one, she had concern for her neighbors. She learned that the truths of God and to love her enemies from her parents in her childhood. So she had love for her enemy master as she loves her God. Seeing her master's leprosy, she was not praising God, but praying God with concern. But now many children are concerned about themselves and their welfare. The present uploading of selfies and statuses in the Instagram and WhatsApp and Facebook tells how they are preoccupied with themselves than about others. Second, she has confidence in God. She was not discouraged. She was not complaining or murmuring, but she was confident in God. That's why she was serving her master with all her heart even though he killed her people. She was not even bitter against God for sending her as a slave girl, but still confident in her God in her enemy's house. Are you confident in God when you are humiliated? Or are you retaliating to prove yourself? Be confident in God. God will fight for you. Thirdly, she had confession for God. She could talk boldly about God to her mistress. You may not know English. You may not know much about Bible. You may not be matured like others. But if you are willing to tell about Jesus, your testimony will speak to people. This nameless girl's weight is in her words. Her testimonial life spoke more than her words that made Naaman to believe and obey her. Can you give your name to this Hebrew girl? Will you concern for others, confident in God, and confess God as this nameless girl? May God bless you to be like this nameless girl to bring name to Him. Amen.